We started the, um, the process of having a military family support dog about two years before we got the pleasure of meeting Scotty. It was, it was long, but we knew that there, it was long for a reason and it was an honorable wait. So we knew that the longer we were waiting, we knew that dogs were being placed with military, family, military members and we knew that that's the true mission. And then we got the call and it was very exciting. <laughs> it could have been the president telling me that we got Scott and it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> like it was, it was just, we got Scotty. <laughs> right? Yes. He's my pal. He is, I'm his, I'm his person, he's my paw person. So it's, um, I go to bed, he follows me. I get up, he follows me. I go into the kitchen, he, well, let's just say, you follow everyone into the kitchen, don't you? Yes. He is a calming influence on the family. He encourages us to have an opportunity to be all in the same place and communicate which is um, where if we didn't have him, we wouldn't have that draw to bring us to the same room. We wouldn't have the draw of, okay, you're gonna, you know, I need two people to, one distract, one to pet, and one to cut nails. And so all of those things that make us engage as a family, he is an engagement apex. So it's pretty cool. So Scotty, being named after a service member means a lot to our family. Um, the idea of having a dog that has a legacy and has it comes from an organization that has a mission was um, pretty important to us. And Scotty's still sort of in service. He just chose a different way, but his namesake gets to live on in service through Scotty's involvement as a military family support dog. So. It was really important for us to, um, having that connection really made it um, a more concrete feeling and a connection to him.